In this tutorial, we're going to look at Moog Modular Basics with Arturia's Modular V. Though many modular synthesizer systems have been influenced by Moog's designs, few of them follow them to the letter. For example, most modern modular systems eschew Moog's two-part oscillator arrangement, which uses a driver to control the oscillators themselves. We're going to take a look at how this works using one of the few software modulars to stay true to Moog's designs, Arturia's Modular V. Let's fire it up. We're going to start with a blank slate. We'll choose the blank synth preset from among the various templates in the browser. As you can see, the system now has been swept clear of patch cables. There are a few default connections behind the scenes as denoted by the red encircled plugs in the inputs of a couple of the envelope modules. This indicates that the keyboard is already capable of triggering these modules. No other signals are being routed, so there is no sound. Click and drag on either side of the interface to scroll up and down the cabinet to see what's on offer. Find the oscillator modules in the lower left. Below them, we can see the mixer. Click and drag on the first oscillator's pulse wave jack to bring a cable from there to the leftmost mixer input. Now, drag a cable from the second oscillator sawtooth output to the second mixer input and click the red button between them. These two oscillators are being controlled by the driver module to their left. There is one driver per every three oscillator modules. Now, we'll drag a cable from the first mixer output over to the VCA in of the leftmost envelope VCA combination module in the same cabinet row. You should now be able to hear both oscillators playing through the VCA. The VCA is being shaped by the ADSR envelope that resides in the same module, though not all of the envelope modules have VCAs, it should be noted. Try increasing the attack and release, and you'll hear the sound fade in and out again. Note that, unlike some ADSRs, the sustain knob is at the bottom in the Moog system. Finally, let's look at the driver module controlling R2 oscillators. As you can see, there is a large frequency knob. Play and hold a note while giving that knob a twirl. You'll hear the change in pitch is followed by both oscillators. If you want to change the pitch of a single oscillator, you can do so using that specific oscillator's frequency knob. Also, adjust the pulse width. You will hear the pulse width change for oscillator one. Had we had a jack plugged in from the output of oscillator two's pulse wave, we would hear that one change as well. 